Your girl Z and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hey dolls, what's up and welcome back to another girly vlog. Hi guys, it is a Friday. I thought I was gonna be vlogging today. And if you're seeing this, you're probably wondering, Zuri, why the hell are you not at the Bridgerton Ball right now, girl? Cause you were supposed to be at that ball. Well, I just wanna let you guys know that I will not be going to the Bridgerton Ball. And the reason why is because I was waiting to buy my tickets until I got the dress because for me, if I didn't get a dress and I didn't have anything to wear to the ball, it didn't really make sense for me to go because part of going to the ball for me was also going to be the getting ready portion and I wanted to film all that for you guys and I also wanted to experience that for myself, like I wanted to dress up. And so I said to myself, if I don't get my dress, I won't get my ticket and that is pretty much what happened. I looked everywhere, you guys. I could not find a dress that I liked. Nowhere, nowhere. And then a friend of mine who already had gone to the Bridgerton Ball had told me that a few of her friends and people that she knew got their dresses from a rental house that like rents out Regency outfits. Like they do plays and stuff like that. And they do like, it's like from TV, it's like a place that rents out clothes and costumes from like plays and TV shows. So she was like, my friends got some dresses from there and maybe you should try that. I looked into that and renting those dresses were super expensive. So to me, it just didn't make any sense to like rent a dress when it wasn't even gonna be mine at the end of the day. I'd rather just pay and buy a dress. And the budget that I gave myself for my dress was $100. I actually ended up spending over my budget. I ended up spending like around $140, which which to some people might sound a little bit crazy but it's not because for the dress that I wanted it was definitely worth in my opinion a hundred over a hundred dollars anyways um, so I was trying to find a dress I wasn't able to find one and I'm thinking to myself I looked online I looked in stores I talked asked around and then I was just thinking to myself like where can I get also I did find some other dresses on like websites but those dresses were saying that they wouldn't be delivered to me for like three months out and i was just like oh no 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 we cannot take that chance and then they were like well we could do expedited shipping and expedited shipping was like 60 dollars on top of the 150 dollars that they were already charging for the dress and i was just like i'm not about to pay 200 dollars for a dress to an event that's not the red carpet like no so i was like yeah that's not gonna work what can i do what can i do and then i thought where can I get something fast that might look decent? And the first thing that popped in my head was what? Amazon. Ding! So I went my little booty over to Amazon. I started looking around and I did find quite a few addresses over at Amazon, but I was presented with the problem of arrival. A lot of these dresses were coming from foreign countries and a lot of them were being tailored and made to fit your body like you had to contact a seller to give them your sizes and stuff like that and then they start making the dress so a lot of them were just three to four months out for delivery and I couldn't find anything and then I came across this one seller who said that they could have it within like a month like so I was like oh that's cutting it kind of close and the seller, by the way, I think today is the 9th or the 10th. Today is the 10th, which is was the date of the ball that I was going to go. And the only other two dates is tomorrow and Sunday, but those are already sold out. So I took... I wanted to go Friday also because they had a daytime showing and I wanted to go to daytime showing because girl, it was cheaper. It was $45 instead of 95. So, or no, I think it was $45 instead of 75. So for me, it was just like, yeah. Anyway, I found this seller and I contacted him and I was like, can you guarantee me that the dress will be here by the 10th? If you could guarantee me that the dress will be here by the 10th, I'll buy it. If you can't, then um, I, I'll, I'll have to like cancel the order. And then he, the seller contacted me back, did not address the fact that I asked him when he would be able to have it delivered to me. But I never say yes or no. Just ask me, hi, dear, what color would you like? I'm like, okay, I told him the color, but I was like, but my question is, 
I don't want to, I haven't placed the order yet because I don't want to buy it if it's not going to come in enough time. If you can guarantee me that it'll get here in enough time, I will buy it. Like, what, what is the delivery day? Never responded. To make a long story short, I went back and forth with him for a week and a half. As the time, by the way, is going by and getting closer and closer to the date that I'm supposed to go to the event. And I haven't gotten my ticket yet because I haven't gotten my dress yet. So I'm waiting for his response. I don't get a response. Uh, finally, I said, I'm just gonna have to take a chance, place the order, and hopefully the dress will come in enough time. So that's what I did. And lo and behold, you guys might have saw in my last vlog that the dress showed up in enough time. I was so super excited. I think that was on the 7th. I was so super excited because I'm like, yes, I got my dress. Right after I got my dress, I said, I need to go buy my tickets because the ball is this week. Like, oh my God. So I hop online and guess what? Y'all already know. I have the worst luck in the world. It was sold out, you guys. So sorry, my arm hurts. I'm holding this big camera. But yeah, guys. So with my luck, it was completely sold out. Nothing was available. No daytime tickets, no nighttime tickets, completely sold out. So, long story short, we won't be going to the Bridgerton Ball. But I still will be doing a good ready with me for you guys because I already got the dress and I already knew what makeup I wanted to do and I knew how I wanted to do my hair and I just think it will be a fun video to do even if I don't go. Just like, maybe I might change the title. I don't know if it'll be get ready to go to the Bridgerton Ball with me or it might be something like get ready to just like get, get ready with me. I don't know. But I do plan on using the dress for a photo shoot, which I will show you guys in like a different clip because right now I have to go edit my fragrance video and get it up for you guys. So I'll show you guys that in a different clip. But um, yeah, I am going to do a photo shoot in the dress. So you guys will get to see the dress, especially on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there. But yeah, other than that, I just really did not get... I missed out on the chance i'm super disappointed about it but i'm also just excited that it's summer and i know that more events will pop up and more cool things will come i did look at the bridgerton tea party and i decided not to go to that because it was more expensive than the bridgerton ball and it sounded more boring than the bridgerton ball so i was like oh, no um it doesn't sound that exciting like maybe i don't know so i don't know we'll see i'll keep it in mind but I'm sure I'll have another event or something to dress up and go to. Also, you guys have been asking me for a makeup video, like a get ready with me, how I do my makeup, makeup routine. So I thought maybe I could just use the get ready with me for the Bridgerton ball. Possibly. I could just use that video to show you guys me doing my makeup because my makeup is pretty much the same. I don't know. This is like my everyday look, but then I also have like a soft pink glam, which was the look that I was going to wear to the Bridgerton ball. So maybe i'll do that for you guys but yeah i just wanted to tell you it's friday and i did not get to go to the bridgerton ball and i'm super disappointed about it but it is a-okay i'm gonna go right now and dump the footage from the camera and edit the house is so hot we have all the doors open because i just need fresh air i feel like i was gonna die in here turning ac edit and order some food or something to eat um we do have a photo shoot tomorrow which is saturday i do want to vlog it um i think i mentioned this i'll have to ask the photographer and confirm everything but i do want to vlog it also another update um i did get a I'm just going to turn on the air anyway, you guys, because it's just too hot while I finish up talking to you guys. I did have another meeting with another photographer today, and he had some really good ideas and things that he wanted to do. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to just be doing, working on doing photo shoots. I think from here on out, like I'll still take photos with my cell phone and stuff like that. Ooh, the lighting is horrible in here. Okay, that's actually not bad. Okay, guys. So what I was saying was... Um, I'm so happy that I'm just starting to collaborate with people. I'm starting to realize, I think when you're like younger and you're stuck in your own little world, you think, oh my God, I have to work hard and I have to do everything, all this stuff by myself and I have to do all this stuff for myself to get ahead. And the reality of the situation is it's not just you that gets ahead. It's a team of people that help you get ahead. And so you have to start reaching out to other people. You have to start collaborating with other creators and not just always be stuck in your own little bubble doing your own thing don't get me wrong I'm the queen of bubbles I love to do my own thing I love to just have my own creative control over my stuff but 
every now and then you have to step out and just collaborate with other brands, other creators, other artists. And one of the things I want to start doing again, which is something I used to do a long time ago when I used to collaborate with other photographers to help them build their portfolio. I think I've mentioned this before in the past that I have done modeling in the past and stuff like that. And it's also nice to just get cute pictures, you know what I mean, without having to worry about setting up a camera and trying to get an angle all by yourself while also worrying about your makeup, your hair, and how you look and not being able to really see yourself outside of a tiny viewfinder. It's just so much better to just have somebody there taking the photos of you, giving you direction and things like that. So why am I going down this tangent? I just wanted to tell you guys hi and you're going to be seeing more from me. This is just the start of the vlog. I probably won't be showing you guys anything else later because I do have to film two more videos um, and I need to get this other, not this video, but the video that I just filmed before I picked up the camera edited. Also, you guys, my nails, I just did them. Cute press-ons, huh? Very cute love them but yeah you guys i just wanted to give you that quick update i wanted to open the vlog and at least start it today like i said i don't think that i will be doing anything else today to show you guys but i just want to say hi i love you and i'll see you in the next clip which should be tomorrow hopefully the photographer will be okay with me vlogging hopefully and hopefully we'll find the proper location because we're still kind of up in the air about a certain location that we wanted so Oh my gosh, if you guys could see like what you're balancing on. <gasps> Let me close the patio. Oh my god. What am I doing? Okay, can you guys see me? Okay, hey guys, oh, what's up? Oh, welcome back. What, what am I doing? This is not a new video. Hey dolls, so it is a Saturday. Um june the 11th and i am just getting ready for the day i woke up early today because i wanted to get some filming done for tiktok um so that's what i'm getting ready to do right now but also today i was supposed to have a photo shoot as you guys know i think i told you this yesterday i was supposed to have a photo shoot today but we actually ended up rescheduling it to tomorrow because the location that we had wanted to use um, required a permit and um, we tried to call the office to get the permit and they were closed until Monday so we couldn't do the shoot at that location so we had to find another location and then we found another location which was fine but then I had to change my look because the look that I had was specifically for that original location um, and it just wouldn't have looked right with the new location. So now, you guys probably can't see this, I'll turn you that way. I have all of my dresses and stuff there. These are clothes that I need to put away, but also these pretty dresses. I'll show you guys later. Um, those are dresses I'm going to use for photo shoots. I actually got them for one for the Bridgerton ball and then the others I got for like the Bridgerton tea party because I was thinking of going, but I actually don't think I'm gonna go anymore but I'm gonna use them for photo shoots so they go, don't go completely to waste um, but yeah we were gonna shoot today and it got rescheduled tomorrow I'm completely 100% fine with that because now I can just take my Saturday to get done what I want to do oh by the way you guys I had this cute bed set on I wore this to bed last night and then I got up this morning and I was like wait this is kind of cute. I have those shorts on that I thrifted. I'm like, I'm gonna have to do a photo shoot in this look. Anyways, you guys, um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, it's to get some filming done, of course, but also I still wanna do something fun. Um, I think I wanna go get like ice cream or something. I don't know, we'll see what we get up to. Today is June 11th and if I'm not mistaken, Today is Bath and Body Works in my annual sale start and I have a list of things that I am looking for. It's just a few things. I have a whole list and I'm going to do a whole video vlog like shop with me for SAS and then I'll do a haul at the end so you guys will get to see that entire video. But yeah, I wanted to go there and our mall opens at 11 and it's 1039 right now and I know that there's already a line out there because every time Bath and Body Works has any type of sale, there's at that particular location there's always a line like in the mall so just prepping myself for that I think I actually might just 
I already know there's gonna be a, a line and I kinda am not crazy about beating the line, so I think I'll just probably take my time to go over there anyway. Hopefully everything won't be sold out. I really want that bubble gum fragrance. Um, and then also you guys, let me, let me do my makeup. I have a hard time multitasking for some reason today. But also you guys, you may have noticed already that um, my fragrance video did not go up Friday and I don't even know if this video will make it up on Monday because at this very moment Final Cut Pro is not working for me at all. I might have to call their uh, customer support line and just get some help because I don't understand why it's not working. Oh my god. Okay, stop. I'll see you guys something that I need to mention is you might hear me a little congested and I sound a little hoarse and weird and sniffing a lot. It's because I reviewed a fragrance last night. Last night I did two fragrance reviews and one of those fragrances gave me an extreme allergic reaction. And it's funny because when I was filming the video, I didn't feel anything at all. Like normally right away, my throat starts itching and I start feeling weird. Like I have to sneeze. I didn't feel like I had to sneeze. I coughed a little bit because I feel like it was a really strong fragrance and I inhaled it. But let me tell you guys, it's the Bombshell Seduction fragrance. I have it right here actually, cause I'm gonna take it back and see if I can exchange it for another perfume. It's this one. I reviewed it and um, yeah, for some reason, last night I had extreme allergic reaction talking about my throat itching, my nose itching, phlegm, hives, my eyes were itching so bad that they were like crusted over. I don't know if you guys have ever had that, like if you have really bad allergies, like you get uh, a lot of like white phlegm, like and it's not phlegm, it's like white stuff all in your eye, but it, my, I woke up this morning, my eyes were crusted over, my face was really swollen and I was just like, oh no, 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 no. And I only spritzed it on my skin once, you guys. Um, so, I don't know, if you're allergic to floral scents, I would not suggest getting this. I've had other scents that's had floral in them that I've never had this bad of a reaction to. So I'm kind of a little taken back by that. Um, I try to think, was it anything else, but I didn't really eat anything else. Like, I, I ate crackers and I drank water and went to bed. So I was like, there, there's nothing else I did differently outside of reviewing this perfume. And it's a shame because the perfume wasn't like a bad perfume it smelled pretty good for it to be a floral fragrance but just for me I was just like oh my god I feel like I'm gonna die and so because of that also you guys I didn't get a lot of sleep so yeah but we're still up but yeah you guys that's pretty much it I'm gonna go because I feel like I can do my makeup so much faster when I'm not on camera I feel like when I'm on camera for some reason I just do my makeup extremely slow um, so I'm gonna watch some YouTube do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back to you guys okay doll so I just finished my makeup and I wanted to show you guys really quick some packages that I just got because I'm about to open them on my TikTok and Instagram. So I want to show you guys them really quick. Um, I just got in the mail these really pretty pink packages. I know what's in them already, but I just love the packaging. I think I'm going to keep this. I'm pretty sure these are my nails. I um, am collabing with a nail brand to promote some nails. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. They know I love pink. And then I think that this might be my Kylie Cosmetics order I'm not entirely sure I will be doing a video though on the Kylie Cosmetics um, the things that I got so you guys will get to see what's in this box but if you want to see like right right away you can head over to my Instagram or my TikTok where I will be unboxing these and uh, showing them to you guys okay dolls so i just finished doing one tiktok it took me forever to do this tiktok i don't know why um i still have a lot more to film but i decided to take a break and head out to bath and body works before i kind of missed out on the products that i wanted to look at here's the outfit that i'm wearing it's a two-piece set that i got from ross like a long time ago and i never got a chance to wear it so i'm wearing it today my ears I'm just wearing these um, Rolls Gold butterfly hoop earrings, really cute. 
my regular Aries necklace and then I'm trying to decide on what purse to wear and just ignore the vacuum in the background. I have to clean in here when I get back. Yeah, I feel like the white is a little bit too white. It's too matchy-matchy. This one, I like the tan with the blue color and the white and it's also bigger. I also feel like this doesn't really match with anything but I will be wearing my tan sandals so that might tie it in. Okay, I think we got it. Let me show you guys my feet. <laughs> And just in case you guys are wondering, Pinky has been asleep down here for like most of the day. Okay guys, so what are we going to wear out? What kind of fragrance? I really want to do the Bombshell Sun Drenched, but I also feel like it might be a little too much for me today. Pink Coconut Calypso for today. Yeah, we're going to do this one. Oh, you know what, guys? I also have to switch out my wallet. That's another thing I wanted to do today. So I'm going to do that before I leave, actually. Mm, yes, I feel like I'm on vacation. Here's the wallet I want to switch my um, the one I have out for. It's a new uh, Juicy Monogram wallet. You guys probably saw this on my TikTok and my Instagram. I hauled this. Did I show you guys in a video? I hope I showed you guys in last week's video, but yeah, I got this from Ross for $15. And here's the wallet that I'm currently using, another juicy wallet, but it's just like a smaller card holder one, and I want to have this big one, and I think it will fit, yeah, it should fit inside of there. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch all of my cards out right now, and then we'll be on our way to Bath and Body Works. I just found this in my wallet actually, and it's a $10 off a $40 purchase. This is like Thanksgiving. Why did my phone just say 15%? So I guess I won't be able to, oh, look at the pretty flowers. I guess I won't be able to vlog until I get into the store. 15% or should I go back and charge it maybe I should go back and charge it yeah we're all charged up we're heading there now it is so hot I can't imagine that people will be out but something tells me that people will be out I'm also still wearing my aligners because I just need to wear them I don't wear them enough Had an exchange the fragrance you guys and I picked up something else too. Now we're headed over to the big bath and body works. inside a coffee bean and I just ordered a watermelon mint drink and a croissant. It was so busy inside of Bath and Body Works. I definitely will need to take a second trip but yeah. Okay guys I am back from shopping. I'm not going to show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works because you guys will see that in a separate video obviously. And they did have an awful lot of things. There was a few things I just could not get to because the store was so packed. So I will be going back over the next few days and picking up more as, what was that? As time goes on, definitely will be hitting up the sale again towards the 75% off. There wasn't a lot there I felt like I needed to absolutely get before the 75% off. So I waited on a lot of products. I did find the, um, oh, which one was it? The um, Cotton Candy Clouds. I found the lotion, the body wash, and everything to the whole set, but it was only 50% off. And I just felt like I wanted to wait on that for a little bit because I already have so many sweet cotton candy scents anyway. I just felt like I could really wait for the 75%. The only things that I did not want to wait for was the candles. They had so many candles out, so I did take advantage of that and go ahead and pick them up. They were 50% off, and then I used my $10 off of $40, which you guys saw. I think I showed you that before I left. But right now, we are in the room with Pinky because she has a lot to say. Pinky, you were talking a lot earlier. You want to say hi, or are you still sulking? 
She's like, get the camera out of my face. Anyways, you guys, I am about to steam the clothes that I'm going to wear um, for my photo shoots right now and just prep for that. I'm going to like organize it on the... What is this? Why can I not think today? I think the heat is really getting to me. Um, I'm going to organize this on the wardrobe rack. Also, I did return a few things at Victoria's Secret. I was able to return that perfume. They were like, yeah, we totally understand. No problem. Um, and they were also having SAS sale and they had a lot of perfumes out. I saw the um, bombshell in bloom. So if you guys are looking for that, head over there because they're on soup, like semi-annual sale. So I think they were like $29 right now. So head over if you guys are interested. But yeah, they did let me... Um, exchange the fragrance and I got bombshell intense so I will be doing a review for you guys on that one but yeah here are the dresses that I wanted to show you guys that I got for photo shoots this one I'm actually a little bit disappointed in it's like a shorter baby doll dress and I'm disappointed in it because of the photo that I that they had up on the website showed it to be like a light pastel color like a light pink like this and it's definitely not that. It's more of like a Barbie bubblegum pink. I still can use it, but it's just like, ugh. I just hate when things are like inaccurate. I'll definitely pop a photo up of the website's picture of the dress, but this is just not it, honey. It still looks the same, like fit wise. It's just the color is all wrong. The back is out, which I love. I think it's so cute. And then here's the next dress that I have that I'm gonna steam. This one is a bit of a longer dress. I know you guys have seen this all over Instagram and TikTok because every girl who's a girly girl has this freaking dress which also made me not want to get it but I felt like I could style it a bit different. I feel like everyone just kind of styled it like how it was. I feel like I can probably do something a little bit different with it. I don't know. We'll see. Because at the same time I also like how plain it is. I love the ruffles at the bottom. I think that this is going to be really cute. Yeah, very pretty. Guys, this was my Bridgerton ball dress. I'll show you. Oops. So this is her. Um, a lot of girls in the review were saying that they put like a, um, a poofer. I don't know what you call that, but a wire poofy thing i don't know what you call it guys underneath their dress just to give it a little bit of volume for that princess look so i did find this on amazon i will try and actually i think i already linked it in my amazon storefront so check out my amazon storefront because it should be there um i just love the buttons i felt like it was so simplistic it also gave it more of like a modern feel for me and then i love the split in the center as well i'll pop a photo up for you guys or you guys will probably see it on my instagram since i'm gonna take a picture in it tomorrow anyways and i'm not gonna lie you guys this dress is a little bit big on me but i love the buttons on the sleeves the sleeves are so big on me and it's funny because in the reviews people kept saying size up size up size up because the sleeves are so freaking tight and girls were even saying that they ended up taking the sleeves off altogether and just making it like a strapless um dress because the sleeves just didn't fit the rest of the dress did but it is really big on me it's very long you do need heels if you don't want it to drag on the floor but yeah it's still very very cute i like it although you probably won't be able to see it the back is my favorite part it laces up so there's not like any buttons or anything like that which i kind of wish that there were but i like this it's so pretty the lace up part we're gonna go ahead and definitely steam this guy because the wrinkles are going strong then I just have a few other, this is my a fairy photo shoot outfit and it also comes with like a um, corset to make it a little sexier. This is my prairie dress that I'm going to wear for my milkmaid photo shoot. This is my Bratz doll photo shoot. Like you guys will see on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to organize this.
so much better you guys it's not completely unwrinkled but it still looks a lot better than it did when it came out of the package because they folded it up so it's like wrinkled in the package also be careful when you're like um steaming the dress because don't steam out the pleats you see how there's like pleats here a few parts i accidentally steamed out the pleats at the bottom so just be wary of that but yeah dress number one is down now we just have to get to the rest of the okay so the second dress is done i am so hot it actually takes a really long time to like steam the dresses um but it does look a hundred percent better than it looks like a totally different dress um than what it was i still have one more dress to seam i don't know that i'm going to show you guys that but i do want to try on this dress today just before the photo shoot tomorrow to make sure that i don't I'm not missing anything or need to adjust anything so I'm gonna try that really quick hey guys so I have on the dress for tomorrow I needed to try it on to make sure it fit um, the only issue is getting this on I'm gonna need help because it's only a lace-up only as I told you guys so I need somebody to lace me up otherwise I don't I don't know how I'm gonna get into it um, I also needed to find some shoes, but I needed some pretty tall heels. So these kind of work. You still can't see my feet. I feel like this is one of those gowns where you're just not going to see the feet. And that's fine with me. I feel like if I pose correctly, I can leave a little leg out at the split and give that type of effect. There are areas that's big on me and then there's areas that's small. So the cuffs... I don't know what everybody was talking about. The sleeves are super huge. You guys can see that on me. Also thinking, what should I do with my hair? Originally I was gonna wear it down, but I just felt like wearing it down kind of takes away from the dress, how big and poofy it is. And I feel like when your hair is like slicked back or up, it just makes the dress look bigger and more gorgeous. I don't know. I have these, it's like a muted, tan color like a muted pink with the sparkles I think it's just really pretty the only problem is the heel as you guys can see is so low I do feel like it would be really nice if I like popped my leg through the split and showed the like diamonds that would be really cute but again like I said they're just too short I feel for this and actually I love it I feel like I am a princess so again I don't know what I'm gonna do about these cuffs Later on, I might have to just get them taken in and tightened. But for the photo shoot, shoot I'll probably just pin them. So they do look awfully big. I'm kind of sad that I couldn't make the ball now. It's so pretty. Okay, bye guys. Pinky loves this dress. Ever since I unwrapped it and took it out of the packaging, she thinks the dress is hers. Like every time I try to like do anything with the dress or move the dress, she like jumps on it. So I have to be really careful because I don't want her to rip any like holes or anything in it but you guys when I was like trying to steam the dress she got so upset with me moving it she thinks the dress is her she wants me out of it <laughs> it's not your dress mama it's mine mama's dress is it mama's dress not yours mama's dress not pinkies she does not want me to have this dress <laughs> Yeah, this is the color. Um, the top is slipping down because as I told you guys, the dress is a little too big and also it's not laced at the back. But besides that, are you guys getting, there you go. There's the color, you guys. Ah! Love, 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 love. I love it. Um, just need to figure out my hair situation. Again, I don't think I'm gonna wear my hair down. If I wore my hair down, I would wear a wig which would be much easier because then I wouldn't have to worry about styling my hair in the morning but I just kind of feel like I don't want it to take away from the dress and I really do like this look okay so now I need to choose like if I'm gonna wear some jewelry pieces girl I have a crown so don't test me but I just don't want it to look too costumey is the thing I want it to still look like a wearable day dress just not too crazy over the top um, and I don't want the crown to like take away from the dress or anything like that. So I don't think we're going to do a crown. 
but maybe some jewelry a pretty necklace or some earrings you guys will see tomorrow hey guys it is some time later and i changed into my gym clothes because we are gonna do a workout sis yes you guys prop you see that you see her uh-uh it's summertime we ain't got no time to be playing around with that so we're gonna go and take care of that right now sis and also i wanted to show you guys me packing my bag for um, my photo shoot tomorrow. So this is the bag that I've decided to go with. This is just a Betsy Johnson tote bag. I love this tote bag. This is my old work bag. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go with this. I'm not gonna be carrying a lot tomorrow because I'm taking Uber. Typically, I would drive to shoots in my car, but y'all already know my car got stolen, so we don't have a car, okay? So I have to take Uber, which means I have to pack light. I'm bringing my regular like toiletry set bag, which has, I'll show you guys everything that's in there right now. I think I've shown you this before, but maybe I haven't. So in this bag, I have some body mist. Gotta stay fresh. I have some lotion or hand cream. I have some body tape. You just never know what goes wrong. Things rip, things don't fit, things just happen. Um, I got toothpaste in here, but I don't need that. That's just for set. I take toothpaste with me because I'm on set usually like eight hours. So after lunch, I like to brush my teeth in the bathroom or in the trailer. Um, Listerine strips, again, same deal if your breath starts stinking. I also have gum I'm going to be bringing and then some deodorants um, and some hair gel. I probably won't need a lot of this stuff, um, but it's just always good to have it just in case. So I'm going to put that in here in my tote bag. The next thing I'm going to bring is this hairspray. Uh, I don't know that I'll need this, but a lot of times if it's windy, my hair will start frizzing up. So I thought I could just use this as a quick way to control the frizz. Put that in the bag. And then, you guys, I was thinking, I was like, oh, should I take my fan, my hand fan? It's so cute. And it matches my dress perfectly. So I was like, that might be a cute little prop. But I actually got this fan for like a lingerie type 50s pinup doll type shoot. So I don't know that I want to use it in this one. So this is kind of like an option, but I'm just kind of like not 100% sure about that. And then I'm going to take this pair of shoes. And I think I'm also going to just bring this additional pair of shoes as well. And that's pretty much it. I might bring a hairbrush. Um, and of course, I'm going to bring my wallet and all that stuff for my purse. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to bring anything else to the shoot. So that'll be it for that. Okay, dolls. So I just pulled some jewelry. And I'm thinking just this necklace will be good enough i don't really feel like i need anything else i might pull some earrings to match this just in case and then once we get there we can decide if we want to go with the earrings or without i laid out my jewelry so here are the earrings that i was telling you guys that might be an option oh look they match my nails how cute um, I didn't even realize that. Um, but yeah, these are the earrings that might be an option. And then I have these light champagne gem ones as well. I have all of my skincare set out because I am getting ready to do a nighttime routine. So you guys can keep an eye out for that. But yeah, you guys, I think that's it. I think I don't have anything else to tell or show you guys before tomorrow um i am just about to work out here for like i usually work out for like 20 to 30 minutes um and then after that i'm gonna order some food and then i'm gonna start my nighttime routine after i eat take my shower you know get undressed and all that jazz so yeah i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow for the photo shoot Good morning dolls. Today is Sunday. It's shoot day and I'm a hot mess today. Obviously, I stayed up all night watching an episode of the Kardashians because I was trying to catch up on all of my like TV shows. And um, so I I woke up a little bit late, but we pushed the shoot. It was originally supposed to be at 9. We pushed it to 11. So I pushed it to 11 because I was like, I'm probably not going to be ready by 9. 
I just did my hair. I think like I told you guys yesterday, I'm just going to go with my regular ponytail. I feel like it's simple, but it also doesn't take away from the dress. But I wanted to pop in and show you guys this cute beauty blender. I brought out my summer beauty blender. You guys can't see it on camera, but it's like a bright tangerine orange into an ombre yellow. Can you see that? Oh, you can see it better back there. So cute. I just wanted to show you this before I actually like messed it up. You guys probably hear the traffic because Pinky's out on the patio and I just set up to film my get ready with me. So I won't be showing you guys me getting ready in this video. It's going to be a separate video so you guys can check that out later. Um, also this video is probably already super long because you guys know I make super long videos. And I'm trying to be better about that. I'm trying to tell my story quicker and cut out unnecessary stuff um, I'm always I feel like going to be a long form content creator I feel like that's just kind of right now what my content is it might change in the future but I do want to like make it a little bit more um, easy to digest if that makes sense and I do feel like a lot of people um, digest quick content um, shorter content better I'm not sure if I'm going to shoot on set or not, it just all depends. Um, I feel a little bit uneasy about sticking a camera in somebody's face when I first meet them like, oh here be in my vlog. So I don't know that I'll do that this time, like maybe after today if everything goes well I'll ask him the next time we shoot like, hey can I, do you mind if I vlog it? Um, I will try my hardest though, I'm going to leave the vlog camera here, I will try my hardest to get like exterior shots of like the location and things like that, like BTS of me um, on my phone and that'll probably go up on my TikTok or my Instagram. So. Yeah, that is pretty much it you guys, so I'm going to get going because it is 8.19 right now, I know like it's at 11 but I need to call an uber and all that stuff and make sure I get there on time so it's gonna take me a little bit and I also have to get that dress on and get it laced up and pin all the parts down that were too big yesterday so yeah that's it I will see you guys a little bit later hey guys so I just finished um, the get ready with me so make sure you check out that video to see me get ready in this look but I am about to I know honey I'm about to leave and she's tr freaking out um but i wanted to say i am headed to the photo shoot right now the photographer just texted me that he's already on the way there so he should be there soon probably before me i just ordered my lift and yeah i am all ready to go i hoping it's going to be a fun day um i'm sure it will be hopefully we can get in and out before the sun gets too bad because oh i just reminded myself i need to take my umbrella with me Oh my gosh, because if it gets hot, I am not going to be standing around. Um, no, no, no. So I'm going to take a, my a pink umbrella. Of course, darling. Um, and then let me see how far my lift is away. Pinky baby, are you okay? Pick up. What? Um, I don't know what it's saying. It's like pick up at 1034 and then between 10 34 and 10 40 no Pasadena is like 30 minutes away it's gonna take me like honey she's tripping out okay guys let me let me take care of pinky I don't know what the heck is going on with my lift I'm thinking I'm about to just cancel it and order another one because this is like no there's like a lot going on. I'm waiting for a lift to come. Ride booked, we're on it. You're on it, but you you haven't booked me on an actual ride. Hi, pumpkin. Mommy has to go. I'll give you a treat before I go, but I have to go, okay? So let me get Pinky situated, y'all. Sorry, it's so dark in here right now. Oh my gosh you guys my uber is so annoying i definitely will probably be getting a car sooner than i thought because i'm just so over ubers and lyft no matter how early in advance i order them they're never here on time but pinky's in bunny's room she's doing better now she's in bunny's room on his bed and she's watching her show 
her bird show that she likes to watch. So I think she's happy for now. I just have to figure out a way to sneak out. Okay, pumpkin. Bye, honey. I don't know what's going on, but Lyft's being really funny. Like they're not booking the ride, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm gonna go and figure this out and then I will hit you guys once I probably get back. Yeah, I'll see you guys then. He worked his chemistry was perfect i'm so happy okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and look out for my uber and then we're gonna head home so i'll see you guys there hey guys we are back home the shoot went great you guys already know this because i kind of vlogged a little bit on my phone after the shoot um so now i'm just going to clean up my room looks a hot mess. I have things from the video that I shot. I have a ton of editing to get done. The dressing room is a hot mess and the rest of the house is kind of a little bit messy as well. So I think I'm just going to clean up a little bit, change out of my gorgeous ball gown. She's giving very much main character. She's giving very much royal core, princess core, ballet core, all the cores. Okay, she is the core. Okay, love the dress. I will say I did get a snag, pinky snag the bottom of it earlier. And then I also had a little bit of a snag right here. We were taking some pictures by some roses and we realized it wasn't a great idea for me to stand in the roses because it was snagging the dress. So don't know if those photos will actually turn up very well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead, clean up, and then get dressed. And I think I'm actually going to go back out because it's so nice outside and I just don't want to stay inside. I've been like in this like, not slump, but like in this hole where it's just like everything seems repetitive. And I feel like I'm not really like living my life like I'm supposed to. So I'm just like trying to go out more and have more fun and things like that. So yes, let's get change and get to go outside. I think I might want to get ice cream. Anyways, Zalit the Zula, mention the Zula, Bifiti Bapiti Boop. She's giving very much parched, very much thirsty and hungry, and yes, needs to get some food. Hey guys, so my camera is over there. Do you guys see it? It is just uploading footage to my hard drive so that I can edit the videos and also have space on my camera because I still have two, three more videos to film. I have to finish the um summer room decorate with me and i also have to finish two other sit down videos so we'll see how that goes <laughs> hopefully final cut pro will work today and i'll be able to edit everything and get things up next week but yeah it is going to be about an hour until that's done so i really can't do anything filming wise or editing wise for an hour so i'm thinking i want to go run and get some food and get some ice cream so yeah let's go do that you know what I forgot to tell you guys about my guitar? Yes, bitch, my guitar. My friend bought me a guitar for my birthday, and I know my birthday was in March, but he didn't live here in this state, and now he just moved here, and he has his house, so he brought over my birthday gift for March, and it's a pink guitar, bitch. Yes, yeah, let me show you guys. Like, what, you guys? <laughs> This is my pink guitar. I have no idea how to play a guitar. He's gonna give me guitar lessons. So maybe I'll vlog it so you guys can see how messed up I am and how bad I am. But yeah, it's cute. It's a little bit darker pink. It's not my favorite pastel pink, but I feel like it still works. And y'all know I'm a DIYer, so you know I'm gonna DIY something on here. Um, I'm thinking about DIYing something right around here on this black part. 
Um, maybe, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'll let you guys know what I decide to do once I do it. But yeah, guys, I have a little guitar. And I was just saying how I wanted a new hobby. So, I mean, even if I don't end up, like, being serious about it, I can still have a hobby as something to do and something new to learn. So, yep, and that's my guitar, bitch. <laughs> So it'd be better to yeah, that's, why. that's it loves i will see you in the next girly vlog